Yo, what up? This is Mason at the Backpack Bros, and I have a killer sleeping bag to show you. This is honestly my favorite piece of gear that I own, and it is loaded with features, but I'm going to do my best to keep it concise. So without further ado, I present to you the Nemo Disco 15 sleeping bag. Um, got it at the Backpacker in Baton Rouge for about three bills, which I know is a lot of money, but there are two things in this world that I don't play with. That is my feet, and that is my sleep. If I have to sacrifice elsewhere in order to have a nice sleeping bag and nice shoes, I'm going to do so. So this sweet piece is weighing in at 2 pounds 11 ounces, which isn't the lightest weight bag out there, but that's due to the shape of the bag. Um, it's actually a spoon shape, which means that there's a little bit more room in the elbows and the knee area, and this is actually the reason that I bought this bag. So I sleep in the shape of a starfish every night, and to be honest, I just wouldn't be able to get a good night's sleep in a mummy bag. I'm not knocking the mummy bags at all because there are a lot of great ones out there, um, but that's just a character flaw I have to live with. So I'm going to unpack the bag for you, and you're going to see how much it really fluffs out once we pull it out of here. Let me flip it around for you. So looking at the bag, you can see it's made out of nylon ripstop. This shell on the top is actually 30D nylon, while the foot box is 40D nylon. Basically, the higher the number, the thicker the strands of nylon, making it more durable in the foot box area. Um, and also, the inner lining and the shell and the foot box are all water repellent. So, on the top of the sleeping bag, you can see these two zippers right here. Nemo calls these thermogills, and what they're designed to do is to let hot air out but not let the cold air in. So it just gives you an extra range of temperature regulation. How that works though, I don't know. So opening this bag, right away you can feel that this zipper is never going to get stuck. Not sure what the technology's called, but there are a few things in this world that are worse than a stuck zipper. And I know that with this sleeping bag, I'm never going to have that issue. Looking on the inside where the zipper is, you can see there's this fluffy little tube right here. This is actually called a draft tube. And what it is, is it's just an extra small layer of down. So when the sleeping bag uh, zips up, what this does is it's gonna cover that zipper area and not let any cold air in, and it won't let your feet accidentally touch an ice cold piece of metal. So the inside of this sleeping bag feels so good, y'all. Like, the video isn't gonna do it justice, but it feels like silk. Towards the top, you can see that it has a hood with also a drawstring to cinch it tight around your head but what it also has is this little flap and what you can do is you can stick a jacket or even a Nemo pillow pillow inside and it's gonna hold your pillow in place so it doesn't slide all around your sleeping bag at night so the coldest night that I ever slept in this was probably about 28 degrees which was cold enough to where it made the skin on my face hurt but there's this little addition, and I don't know if many sleeping bags have this, but it's called a blanket fold. <clears throat> and it's just this little piece right here. It's just a little flappy piece of down. What you do is you just tuck your head under this hood, just lay it straight over your face. And man, when you got that blanket fold on, you just go straight to Toast Town. I mean, it is so warm in here. It's actually almost August right now, and it's a little bit too warm already. But really, when it's cold, cold outside, this is the best sleeping bag in the world. And that's about it. I mean, I really love this sleeping bag. If you are a side sleeper that wants a bag that will last a lifetime, then this is the one for you. So I'm going to roll this bad boy up. But until next time, later.